Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I am back and it is time for a StarCraft 2 1 versus 1 replay cast and I can tell you this is gonna be good. Uh, we have got two of the best players in the world, if not the two best players in the world. In the bottom left hand side of the map, playing for Dragon Phoenix Gaming, it's Dark the Monster Zerg player. And taking on Dark is his effectively Terran counterpart. Rarely get to cast him on this channel. It's Maru. Maru, the best Terran in the world, no doubt about it, I'd say. Uh, as far as looking the best goes, there's no one who on a good day looks better than Maru. Uh, and that's like, he'll just do insane micro. He'll just beat down any player in his, pot, in his path. Now, the reason why Maru Dark is so exciting is that Maru's got such good micro, whereas Dark's got such good defense. He's so good at playing against in scrappy situations. Like, there's not a lot of people in the world who can out multitask Dark when he's trying to hold on and against drops and things like that. And that's why it's exciting to have Maru versus Dark because they're just like each other's counterparts in a sense. So I'm excited to see how they're going to play it out. Maybe Maru will mech and completely change it up. However, he is best known for his bio control, and so that's why I'm excited just to watch these two. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do enjoy the fact that we're casting Maru and Dark, though, make sure to hit that like button. Let's try and see a hundred likes on this video for Maru and Dark. That would be absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah. Reaper is on the way now for Maru. Gonna be popping that bad boy out. He's got the best Reaper Micro in the world, I'd say. There's not a lot of players who can beat Maru at Reaper Micro. The Reaper is gonna be getting sent on out. Then the follow-up Marine Maru did SCV Scout, however, so he knows that there's no early pool or anything like that coming out of Dark. So playing it very safe against Dark, which I really do like to see. Because sometimes sometimes the best of players will play like the most greedy in a way that you're like, eh, did you really need to cut that corner because you're so good? However, now we see Maru coming in with his Reaper, gonna be trying to grab a drone. Whoa, 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 Maru actually gets himself a drone of darks? Oh my gosh, that is so, so uncharacteristic of dark. A mistake like that. Maru is gonna be grinning from ear to ear after something like that. Does he even get a Ling to? No. The Queen does end up repelling the Reaper, but a drone, that that's painful, both, both morally and financially in this game for dark. The Reaper is getting pushed away by the Queen, and if we do take a look, there is indeed a hatchery getting set up for Dark. So, gonna be having just that normal Zerg macro ramp up, while Maru is gonna be making his Hellions, getting his Starport on the way. Uh, Maru with Hellions or Starport units is something that you can never, ever sleep on. He will just dive in and find damage in any time. Dark, though, I mean, he's got his lings in position to try and intercept the Reaper. He's mining just the the average amount of gas, so no crazy aggression going to be coming out of his way. And this is personally what I want to see. I want to see a big old macro game between Maru and Dark for this one. The Viking is on the way for Maru, going to help shoo away any overlords that are hanging around. All the while, it's going to be getting followed up with Stim, so I just say yes, yes, yes to that as a Stim pack means that it's probably gonna probably gonna be a bit of a macro game uh, just due to the nature of how Terran bio ramps up uh, it's not like Terran can start up stim then go for a big push or anything and that generally forces the game into macro now dark interestingly enough is going for a roach warren this is something that I think we've been seeing a little bit less of lately defensive roaches for zerg not that dark can't be aggressive with these but defensive roaches a little bit less common than i'd say they used to be mainly because zergs have been trending towards getting more mutalisks and things like this but we do see dark he fires up four roaches a very good amount just for early defense he's just doing this off the back of two gases so he can just churn out a good number of roaches here and there uh, looks like Dark will actually be getting supply blocked a little bit due to losing that Overlord, so... A little bit of uncharacteristic mistakes for Dark. He's queuing up three Overlords. He's building a Spore Crawler now in his main base, but yeah, look at this. He's, this has been pretty much as long as a supply block as possible for the Zerg player. He's building seven Overlords, which is not what you want when you're macroing up at all. 
So that's quite uh, that's quite unfortunate for Dark. I mean, he queued up a bunch more overlords, I guess, just so he could spend his money. But uh, you generally want to just have your overlords rolling at a steady pace. I guess just uh, Dark losing that one overlord really threw him off. He's now going to try and bait Maru into thinking there's an attack coming his way. I do get the feeling, though, that Maru's good enough to sniff out Dark's attack like this, as Dark does go for light pushes like this fairly, fairly often, then just go back into drones, so... Maru's feeling quite confident. He didn't even end up finishing his bunker. He's just like, oh, you're you're totally faking me. That's bait. And so Maru's just going to keep macroing up as he was. Interestingly, Maru is just playing a three racks play, which is also something that's not super common versus Zerg. It seems the three CC has been the trend lately. However, Maru is going to be playing with the very quick bio upgrades, with the very quick high amount of bio. There's his third CC. But it is later than usual, and this is something that I think is uh, generally attributed to Maru. Uh, because he's just so, so good at dropping, getting damage done, pulling the Zerg out of position, that uh, he can go for those racks and justify getting them. So Because he'll really make use of the tools that having the earlier racks and medivacs gives him. Whereas uh, a lesser Terran might just not have... A lesser Terran might just not... Well, they'll make the three racks but then they won't necessarily get enough done with it, whereas they should have just gone for the CC. Right now we see Maru coming in. He's cleaning up creep with his Hellions. This is actually one of the first times I've really seen how quickly those new uh, the Hellions deal damage to creep tumors as opposed to how they did in the past. We are now going to be seeing a medivac drop for Maru. He was going to unload the Marines in the main base, but roaches are waiting there for Dark. Dark has got creep out on the map that's been cleared up, but so far that's all the damage he's taken. Dark is firing up a bunch more roaches, I guess getting worried about the pressure going to be coming his way. Maybe based off the lack of seeing a third base, Creep Tumor's getting killed off, nicely done by Maru. He's still got his Hellions out on the map, maybe looking to dive on in towards that third base. We shall see if that, if that comes into effect. But for now, Maru is just going to be pulling back with his units, and he didn't get that much done. Uh, Dark's hatchery is on the way. Uh, we take a look. The Hellions run in for Maru, but they only get two drones. Very good reaction from Dark. Uh, he's got that. We got that coming out. Is it... This hatchery's on position for Dark, right? That seems like a very long way for the minerals, but... And that this should... That this hatchery should be in the center of this circle. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, well. Because, like, the CC is right in the center of the circle for Maru. So this makes me wonder, did Dark misplace a hatchery? If he did, th this is a lot of uncharacteristic mistakes for Dark. Uh, we see the Roaches now going to be repelling the Marines. The Roaches do quite well against the Marines in the lower numbers. However, this is where things are going to get more complicated for Dark, as Maru is now going to be coming in. He's going to have a ton of Marines, which can slaughter a small amount of Roaches. And if we do see these... Marines just forced the cancel on that hatchery instantly, so Maru going to be happy with that. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Dark throw up another expansion in the right-hand side. However, we did actually just see a Roach counterattack. Just kill a couple of SCVs. Nice move from Dark. Uh, big Marine drop from Maru into the main base. I'm realizing watching Maru and Dark, I'm going to have to be picking up the pace with my observing as Maru has his drop quickly going to the main base. All the while, there's this small counterattack from Dark. Not going to get too much damage done, just a couple of SCVs. The pressure is going to continue mounting for both these players, though. But Dark, I mean, he's maxed out. He's going to be looking to move across the map. Just 1-1 one, one upgrades. Looking to get a big kill move on Maru. Going for a big attack already. Maru's got this counterattack on, out on the map, but Dark is just going to be looking to hit Maru's third base hard. Maru realizes he's just got to abandon ship as uh, he's just still got too many units out on the map right now, so he's just going to be pushing towards Dark. We see these Roaches and Ravagers for Dark are coming back. Maru abandoning his third base was a very good decision, just holding up in his natural. This, however, has left Maru with a potential window to get damage done to Dark. We see he kills off the Roach Warren. He does just end up lifting everything back up, though, as the Roaches of Dark do come home. So both these players keeping pressure on each other. Maru's third base was evacuated. However, Dark still doesn't have a fourth base, which I'd say is generally considered a good thing. For the Terran player. If your third is lifted off and the Zerg, but the Zerg doesn't even have a fourth, I'd say that's probably fine for you. We're now going to be seeing Dark come in for an attack. Bio is unloading. Tanks are getting shots off over. Take a look at this. Great trade from Dark, staying mainly away from the siege tanks. And Maru isn't fighting with a critical mass of Bio against this many roaches. So Dark killing 13 SCVs there was a really good trade for him. 
He's got his 2-2 upgrades on the way. Trading out some of his roaches is something he's probably fine with because he's got a baneling nest on the way. He's got a couple of extra hatcheries on the way. Uh, one hatch at the fourth, one hatch at the fifth. I really do like the double expanding play from the Zerg. And oh, Dark Hack is actually going to be building four hatcheries at a time, which is something I really, really love to see from Zerg. If you got the money, go for it. One of them's a macro hatchery, but he's really, he's really uh, setting up his options. If Maru kills off two of these bases, Dark still is a fourth, which is something that I really love. He's now just going to be trading out with these roaches, trying to get what he can of Maru. Gets a Marauder or two. Nice moves there. We're even going to be seeing Infestors on the way. So Dark going to be playing the old age style of Roach, Ravager, Infester, which is something that we haven't seen in ages in StarCraft 2. I feel it just really fell off after the Infester nerf. Uh, as Terrans just have been able to play more or less through the Infestors. However, someone like Dark using it is something that I'm excited to see because he is a master of Tier 1 units. Then you give him these Tier 1 units and all of a sudden they have the support of Infestors. Uh, Dark's going to be looking pretty good. Now, his Infestors are revealed by a scan of Maru and he doesn't actually have energy on them yet. So he can't use the Fungals just yet, but oh, look at this. A drop from Maru tries to make it into the main base, but a nice Spore Wall from Dark repels it. And the game is going to continue on. We see the Zerg player still with a lot of Roach Ravager. However, Maru, his supply has been taking so, so long to build up. He's just getting up a fourth base now. He's throwing up some extra barracks now. But overall, Maru, because he delayed that third CC initially, his macro is not what you'd normally think it would be for a Terran at this stage of the game. Whereas Darks is really starting to take off with saturating multiple or with saturating that extra base in the bottom left. If we do take a look, though, Mari was setting up very nicely to get some damage done. He's pushing in towards the fifth base location, going to be killing this off. Dark's going to be running out of options here as these Marines come in for Maru. They're just going to simply right-click on this hatchery, and they're absolutely going to kill it. So really nicely done by Maru. Just suddenly knocks Dark down to three bases, and the Zerg's economy is not looking that strong, not strong enough to keep pumping out mass Roach Ravager anyway. We see the Marauders are really starting to trade efficiently against these Roaches, picking off a few. That's what I like to see Dark now just having to make some Lings. I guess he wants to rely more on the Banelings. He does have Vipers out now though, which is exciting for him. And the Terran, so the Zerg army with Infestors, with Vipers, with Banelings will actually trade pretty darn efficiently. I feel against what Maru has. So while Dark's in a very poor spot economically as Maru sets up his fourth, it's not the end of the world for Dark. We see him roll forward with Banelings. He used Burrow Infestors to catch the army of Maru. The Roaches and Ravagers are moving forward, but all of a sudden they are out of support units. The tanks are gone, but the bio should actually trade just fine against this. We need to see a really good fungal from Dark. He's keeping that Infestor alive. He's got the Vipers out on the map, but overall, not a bad trade from Maru, I feel. Dark's gonna have a tough time remaxing this. He's making 58 lings. We need to see some spells from Dark. There's Paris or blinding cloud on the tanks knocks them out the fungal growth wasn't used during that fight so the bio just retreated very well dark's really starting to fall down on supply and as long as maru keeps trading out like this i feel he's going to be a very happy camper a big fungal could be a play from dark that we see the infester unburrow it tags the whole army of maru dealing so much splash damage to the army so all of a sudden, Maru does have to lift up, does have to retreat. He's on four bases. Dark's just re-established his fourth base. So the economy should be better for Maru compared to that of Dark. We see Maru's got his 3-3 on the way, whereas Dark is about to have his plus three carapace done. So his units will be rather tanky against what Maru has for a little bit of time. Dark's also getting that plus two melee attack. So his Banelings and Lings are better. Adrenal Glands to help them likewise. And Ultra Cavern as well. This is one of the things about Dark. He's like, okay, I can't make a ton of units off this economy that I've got, but I'm going to make some of the really, really good ones and just have a very mixed bag. So he's making more infestors. He's getting an ultra cavern on the way. Dark somehow does this without spreading himself too, too thin. It's really impressive how he's staying alive. Now, we do see Maru looking to push the right-hand side of this base. Looks like he certainly will cancel or kill this. Looks like it's a cancel. At the same time, though, there was a Baneling attack that hit Maru's third base, killed nine SCVs. Maru's being pushed back once again. Dark was trying to get up a, a fifth or a sixth base location, but we do see another attack coming in from Maru. Just going to right click on this hatchery. He's going to save most of the units too and get out a really good move from Maru, knocking Dark down to just three bases. 
and that was one of Dark's relatively fresh bases still, so the Zerg economy this game is not that good. Uh, we see Maru's really starting to surge ahead in the income. He's still just dropping all over the place, harassing all over the place. So we're going to need to see some really, really good engagements from Dark. And so he's got infestors just burrowed out on the map because he knows how much Maru will have to scan to clean these up. Dark might be uh, salivating at the mouth a little bit, seeing all these marauders out on the map. Just a small chunk that he could maybe pick off. For now, though, he's having to deal with these liberators. Does miss the does miss the corrosive bile on this one so it's still getting shots off really hurting the economy of his opponent maru really really nice play at the same time there's a push down to the bottom right maru equal supply to the zerg should generally be pretty good for the terran dark's hanging on this is what we think of dark we see we see him play and he's the guy who can just hang on and hang on and not give up but for now Things are really starting to mount against Dark. We see Banelings rolling forward for Dark, but Maru splits his Marauders well enough. He's got Widowmines to fall back on. The Zerg player is barely replacing his army. He fires up Chitinous Plating and four Ultras. He's just really trying to bolster the strength of his army so he can keep fighting, keep trading efficiently. Hope Maru maybe overextends one time. For now, though, Maru is getting up a fifth base, which is really problematic for Dark as Dark himself doesn't have that good of an economy. He has managed to get up a fifth phase, but as I just said, Maru's getting up his own fifth phase. We're seeing some Banelings roll forward for Dark, but these are not efficient trades for the Zerg player, I feel. The Widowmine's just doing a good enough job. Uh, Maru just trading out Marauders against Banelings, which will always be a good trade for the Terran. All the while, there's a fight on the right-hand side. Parasitic Bomb taking out the Medivacs, or dealing as much damage as they can to them. Uh, looks like Maru is going to have to contend with some Ultras now, but the Ultras don't actually have Chitinous Plating yet, so they should be relatively easy picking. Dark's been trying to save this base, but he's not able to, and this is really concerning for Dark. This effectively knocks him down just to one new base. He's going to have to rebuild this location. Maru picking that off was absolutely huge for him. A couple of Marauders are going to die to these Ultras. I mean, Dark can pick off some units with his Lings and everything, but for now the ability to replace the army is starting to show as Dark slips in supply, whereas Maru's still almost maxed out. He's coming in. He's going to be picking off more drones, going to be picking off this base. Dark has been trying to hold on for now, but it looks like things are starting to wear on him. He's getting an okay trade against Maru's bio right now. He's getting a counterattack on this base, but there's no way he's going to be able to kill it. He's now out on the map with an ultra, which is going to get picked off. Dark cannot afford to just be losing ultras willy-nilly. We see he's down to 130 supply. It's just looking like it's too much. Maru just macroing well enough, just being aggressive enough that Dark, even with his extreme efficiency and control of these units, isn't enough in order to win this game. I mean, Maru, he's just been consistently pressuring with Bio. He may lose forces here and there, but he's trading out really well against the Zerg player. He's not just taking fights, which he loses everything for nothing. And so... That's really all he needs with an economic advantage like this. Dark has been trying and trying to hold on, but I think, honestly, losing this fifth base just just after that one battle a minute or so ago really was the straw that broke the camel's back. Maru knocking Dark down to effectively just one base is so, so much lower than what Dark's economy would have been if he had been able to keep two binding and two alive. We see Maru, he's now going to be securing up base number six, the Eteran macro machine shows no signs of slowing down dark's trying to just make these high efficiency units once again he's got out a few ultras he's going to be making a few infestors to back these up but we see maru stepping on to creep again getting wood mine shots off even trading against these lings is honestly worth it at this point dark's having a hard time replacing his zerglings which is never ever a good thing for the zerg we see maru is now going to be going for the one two punch dark's going to have to try and split his forces in a way which he can defend both these armies but he's half the supply of maru i think maru is just going to clean up these forces and gg gets called as as the Terran player takes this match well played, Maru brings down Dark after an absolutely crazy, crazy match. What a game between these two. Uh, I'm sure glad I cast this one. It's just not often I get to see the absolute pinnacle of StarCraft 2. And so I hope you enjoyed this one, ladies and gentlemen. If you're new to the channel and you made it to the end of the video, go ahead and subscribe. Join the Discord if you haven't. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter if you want, and then of course, uh, consider becoming a member if you do want to support the content. It's basically just like a Twitch sub on YouTube, if you know what that is, but 
I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Laughing Games. I'll see you next time.